Brought to you by Almon Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. You're looking at a rare pair. It's a 1966 Alice Chalmers B12 with an L12 loader on the front. Both owned by Don Clark of Kingston, Ohio. It's easy to spot a B12 since they all carry the distinctive Bumblebee decal. It's an almost identical tractor to the smaller B10, but the bigger B has a couple of differences. The same year they started making the Bumblebee 10, they come out with the Bumblebee 12, it had more horsepower. Uh, this is basically the same tractor, the only difference was the used uh, the 12 horsepower engine and had the bigger front tires on it. There's no real good numbers or records that you just don't see as many B12s as what you do the B10. This tractor came from uh, just east of Indianapolis. It's basically just the way it is. I made a few changes. It had already been painted and everything. I went ahead and put the original seat back on. I made the correct spindles for the dual wheels. They didn't have dual wheels on them, but that was an option. It had a newer set of headlights on it. I happened to have a pair of the old original headlights, so I put them back on it. It's kind of an eye catcher because it is restored. Uh, it's, it's kind of unique because you don't see them very often. The B12's single cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine had plenty of power for the many different implements Alice Chalmers offered. And the B12's bucket shaped seat provided support and comfort for the operator. The seat on the B12 is a little different than what's on the B10 because it has a removable cushion in the middle. There are several models that had the armrest. I'm not sure about other brands, but uh, although some people don't like it because it makes it hard to get on and off. But that is the way it was, you know, it's all black and original like that. And we can't forget about that loader on the front of the tractor. It's a classic as well, and maybe even more of a collector's item. A lot of people ask me if that's a, a homemade loader, but no, it, it was made uh, for Alstromer's tractors. This tractor, you could either get the L10 or the L12. This one happens to have the L12. You really don't see that many of them because normally people have them, they hang on to them. They are a unique piece to get if you're lucky to get one. It's supposed to lift like 300 pounds. It's got an external pump on it, so you know it's driven, driven off the front PTO. So yeah, it takes a pretty good powerful tractor. Usually something that old has just a rope dump. This has hydraulic dump and hydraulic lift, so yeah, it works real well. Don came across this classic combo while shopping on eBay and knew he had to have it. I check it about every day, and I was sitting in there looking at it, and I seen this tractor, and I said, you know, they had to buy it now on. I said, man, I don't, I don't want to spend that kind of money. Then I went outside, worked a couple of hours. I said, probably not going to get another chance to get a tractor like this with a loader on it because the loaders are kind of hard to find. They're out there, but uh, people usually hang on to them. Don says collecting classic lawn and garden tractors has really taken off in the last several years, which can make it difficult to find awesome antique machines like this B12. It's getting harder and harder to find things, especially the rare items. Um, because, like I say, it's just, it's, uh, it's, there's more people doing it than what there used to be. So it's getting harder to find a bargain anymore. You got to think fast and hopefully not regret it later. Big or small, Don loves to collect them all. He even has an extensive memorabilia room at his place in Ohio. Don says he's gotten a kick out of hunting down these rare pieces of Alice Chalmers history. It's something my dad started doing and I kind of got interested with him. We did it together for several years. And uh, I think I kind of got carried away, but uh, I've enjoyed going places, finding them uh, and bringing them home. I'm hoping I can retire and spend more time doing it. If I didn't like it, I probably wouldn't do it, but uh, I'd have a whole barn full if I could.